the people want to hear your story. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... It's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind. Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander! We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reavers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. 
Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Well, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Don't worry, Kelly. I wouldn't let him touch you. If there's any touching being done, you'd better be involved. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? It's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances, or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard.